Hello, is this Mike? Yes, this is Mike, who is this? Mike, I'm Albert, I work with AE Realty, and I noticed you were on our website this morning, mysatx.com, you're looking at some homes in the Dominion area. Wanted to find out a little bit more about your home search. Um, how long have you been looking for homes, Mike? Uh, you know, I've been on and off the website. Uh, I'm a little familiar with it, received a couple of phone calls in the past from you guys. Uh, you know, I'm really just looking for, you know, some inspiration for my pool. See, you know, I'm looking to maybe build a pool out here and then, you know, see if that will boost the value of my property and see what I can get for it after that. So you own where you live right now? Yes, I do. Okay. How long have you been in that home? I've been here for about five years. Awesome. Is there a Mrs. Crawford? There is, actually. Okay. What's her name? Her name is Tanisha. Tanisha Crawford. Sounds like a lovely lady. Uh, Mike, what do you do for work? I'm a business owner, so I, uh, I have a couple of shops around town. I sell various things uh, in the fitness industry, so uh, I have my own license to be able to uh, sell like weights and stuff like that. Uh, okay. Definitely, I have my license to also uh, sell supplements. So I kind of do a two-in-one, you know, stop and shop. Awesome. Well, uh, we have a couple of health-minded people here in our office. Uh, maybe you could uh, drop by and uh, maybe bring some samples or, you know, introduce yourself to our crew and maybe we can bring, bring a little more business your way. Yeah, you know, uh, you know when, I get, when I get the free time, I'm usually uh, super busy, you know, I got to keep the bills paid. I, and being a business owner, you know, if you don't produce, you don't get paid. So yeah, for o sure. always busy, always busy. But uh, I'll see. I'll look at my schedule, see when a good time to be. That's awesome. And uh, the home you're in right now, have you kind of outgrown it, or uh, are you just looking to upsize, maybe? Or? Uh, I'm looking to downsize. Actually, it's a little too big. Oh, okay. But uh, you know, we're we're planning on staying here maybe another year or two. Let that pool get in, and we'll enjoy it a little bit, and then sell it off. Okay, awesome. Uh, one piece of information that could be really important for you is knowing exactly what your home is worth in the market right now, and that's something that we offer. Uh, we could uh, come out to your home, give you a current market analysis, and that way, you know, when it comes time to move that home, or uh, you know, maybe do anything with it, uh, potentially even have it as a side income. But uh, you'll you'll better know what to do with that home with that information. So. Um, are there, uh, are there kids? Do you have any kids? Uh, yeah, I have about three kids. You know, uh, one of them is going to be a senior in high school next year. The other two are, are youngins. So, uh, you know, we're going we're gonna to need to downsize to something that could fit, you know, their needs. They don't need something too big. And, we, you know, we bought more than we needed. Definitely. Well, there's some good schools out uh, in Bernie. There's a couple of private schools. Have you considered those for the kids? Yeah, I actually, send, I'm sending my kids to... Uh, TMI, you're in okay. TMI, the Episcopal School. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, my kid went there too. Oh, nice. Absolutely. Yeah, that's where I'm sending mine. So, awesome. Keep, keep them, keep them, uh, you know, sheltered from public school. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. And so the the home that you're looking for, um, what would what would be ideal in that home? Um, about a four bedroom. I need a home office. Um, you know, the old the oldest is planning on moving out. As soon as he graduates, mm -hmm. uh, he's going to go to college somewhere. I mean, he hasn't told us yet. Mm -hmm. It's going to hurt my pockets probably. So definitely want to, you know, stay probably in the, you know, low five, mid 500 price range. Uh, yeah, pretty much that. You know, maybe something with a pool. You know, not, not, too, uh, not too sure about it yet since the two young ones, you know, they're only five. and. They're just learning how to swim, mm -hmm. so we definitely don't uh, we don't need them drowning. That's for sure. Yeah. Well, um, you know, no matter if you're uh, doing something, you know, three months from now or a year from now, uh, definitely want to, uh, you know, show show benefit in working with me. And and uh, one of those things that I can offer you uh, would definitely to be to uh, show you what your home's worth and uh, get you that current market analysis. So uh, is. Uh, is this afternoon a good time to come by and do that for you? So uh, I'm actually kind of busy all week. You know, we're in the process of trying to launch another store out in Austin. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, there's a market for it. We've done a lot of research. You know, it's been in the, in the works for about, you know, two years already. Um, so, you know, I'm going to be busy doing that, seeing, you know, we already have a space that we're looking at. So we're just, uh, we're just trying to decide right now what's the best route. 
So uh, I'll be busy all week. Uh, you know, I'd have to look at my schedule to get you a time, but not in front of my laptop right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, awesome. Very cool. Well, uh, Mike, I tell you what, uh, just uh, tentatively, let's go ahead and uh, since, since we move kind of fast here in the office, and I know you move fast as well, so. Uh, this weekend I have a 10 o'clock where we could come out nice and early and you can have the rest of your day and uh, we'll get you that current market analysis. Does that sound good for you? Yeah, go ahead and put me down tentatively. Uh, I'll follow up with you if you know if anything changes in my schedule as of right now. My Saturday is looking pretty open. Mm -hmm. I'm probably going to take a family day. But uh, you know, if it doesn't if it doesn't take too long to get me those CMAs, then you know, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll look forward to, to making it happen. Yeah, and I could do a little homework between now and then. What's what's your address? It's uh, 123 Main Street. Okay, awesome. Well, I can get on BCAD and, you know, do a little uh, homework before we come out and see you and uh, have my ducks in a row that way. We won't waste any of your time. So uh, I'll let you go for now, Mike. It was a pleasure speaking with you, and uh, we'll, we'll follow up on Friday to make sure Saturday is still good. All right, sounds good. All right, thank you. Ring, ring. Hello. Hi, is this Mike? This is Mike. Hey, Mike, this is Ben with AE Realty. How are you doing today? Good, thank you. Awesome. Mike, we noticed you're active on our website this morning viewing some properties out there in the Bernie area. Is that an area you're looking to move to? Yeah, definitely Bernie. Uh, some around Dominion might be okay. I think there's a, a Stonewall Estates that's uh, right near Dominion. Some of those homes look really nice. Yeah, a couple of new builds out there. You know, some nice builds as well. Uh, Mike, if you don't mind me asking, what's your current situation? Uh, you currently rent or own where you're staying at? We own. Okay. Yeah, my wife and I bought the house we're in uh, back in 2008, so um, it's, uh, it was our first home right after we got married, and so uh, we're just kind of looking to get something a little more new, a little more fresh, so maybe, you know, maybe the last home that we'll have. So. Awesome, awesome. So you're looking for something a little bit more open, more modern? Yeah, I like high ceilings, open floor plans. I like a, a nice kitchen. I like to cook. Uh, definitely need a, need a pool. We have family that comes in from other states a couple times a year, so you know, in the summer we definitely want to have fun with all the, the kids and stuff, so a pool's important. Yeah, most definitely. How many uh, bedroom and bath are you looking for? How many what? Bedroom and bath are you looking for? Let's see, uh, we've got a lot of family, so a five bedroom could be good, um, you, know, and, you know, five, six bathrooms, maybe one outside by the pool, you know, make it a make it seven bathrooms, something like that. Okay, awesome, all right. So, Mike, what I'm gonna do for you is, I took all that down in my notes, uh, and I'm gonna do some research, see what properties I could pull for you since your email is, uh, Mike, the big family guy at yahoo.com, is that a good email to, to send those properties to once I pull them? That's my email. All right, sounds awesome. Mike, I also wanna congratulate you on your current home because over the past you know, 10, 11 years, 12 years that you've owned that home, it's gone up tremendously in value and you've built yourself nice equity there, so I want to congratulate you there. Awesome. Mike, uh, tell me a little bit about your current home. Have you done any upgrades in the time that you've been there? Done any remodeling to it? Oh yeah, we've, we've done a lot. Uh, the wife has expensive tastes, so she's always got ideas and plans, so we put in some uh, granite uh, countertops and things like that. Uh, new wood on the cabinets and uh, new flooring. She likes the tile, the hard ceramic tile. And uh, you know, constant landscaping outside. It looks real nice outside to keep the mulch fresh, the yard cut, and uh, so yeah, we've done a lot. Nice, and uh, Mike, what do you do for a living, if you don't mind me asking? I own a, a water fountain company, so we assemble water fountains. We put them in schools and office buildings and things like that. Oh, nice, do you do any uh, residential work? You know, like people have nice driveways, put a water fountain out front? I mean more for, uh, you know, like uh, drinking, you know, people walking down the hall at the office, they get thirsty. Uh, oh, okay. It, uh, My apologies. It naturally ionizes the water, so it's not like just, you know, city water. It gets a little treatment in the machine. It's pretty unique. You don't see a lot of those, so. Awesome. How long have you been doing that for? Uh, it's, uh, I've owned the company for about seven years, and it's, it's been kind of a project, you know, maybe six years before that. I finally developed it, got the patents, and, and uh, we moved forward there, so. Nice, yeah. nice. Sounds, sounds awesome. Uh, you know, we definitely love our water out here at the office. Maybe look into getting some water fountains for the office and for oh, our yeah. future offices as well. Oh, yeah. Uh, Mike, I know you said you're married. Um, what is, what's your wife's name, if you don't mind me asking? Julie. Julie? What does Julie do for a living? Uh, she shops. 
Yeah, she, oh, okay. she, uh, she, she doesn't really uh, do much for work. She stays busy with her lady friends and, you know, they like to go get their nails done and have champagne and just go shop, you know. Sounds like the life, doesn't it? She's a lucky woman. Yeah, sounds like it. <laughs> so you have any kids? Yeah, we have four kids. Oh, okay, awesome. Uh, boys or girls? Two boys, two girls. Nice yeah. balance. Yeah, okay. best of both worlds. Yeah, I they guess play, so. uh, They play any sports? How old are they? Yeah, they, uh, they range from four to 12, and uh, the boys are into sports, of course, and the girls, eh, not so much. Uh, so, so schools would be important? School's important, yeah. You looking for, you know, like private school, public school? Or? We have them in private schools, so uh, if you're thinking, you know, relation to the home location, that's not so important. We'll drive across town to take them to the school we want them in, so that's fine. Okay, awesome. And with your current property, what are you looking to do with it? Are you looking to list it and sell it, or are you looking to keep it as an income-producing asset? I don't know if I want any hassles of uh, managing the property, so we probably want to sell it. Okay, well, you know, just to, just to let you know a little bit about us here at the office, we do have a property management uh, section to our company, so, you know, we're, and we run that fairly well. So we'd definitely love to uh, get you some CMAs, uh, comparable market analysis on what your house could go for in the rental side of things and what your house could go for on the, the selling side of things. Uh, if you don't mind me asking, uh, when would be a good time for us to go out there and see, and see your current property? Um, <clears throat> well, I'm going back home uh, today from a couple of errands. I think I'll be at home for the rest of the day, so. Uh it yeah, be a good time. Yeah, we can make it out today. What time are you going to be home? I'm home afternoon for the rest of the day. Okay, uh, so I, I see we have 4.30 open to make it out there. Is that a good time for us to come out there? Yeah, it should be fine. Awesome. I'm going to go ahead and put that down on my calendar. And, uh, you know, in the meantime, I'm going to pull up the, the CMAs for you, get everything running. What's your current address? Uh, it's 1124 <laughs> Ocean Drive. All right, nice. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get those CMAs ready for you in the meantime. That way when we're out there, we have everything, um, you know, locked and loaded, ready to give to you. And uh, also, I'm going to pull those properties that you could look at uh, to see if you see anything you like, and we'll see about getting you out on a tour and getting you some more information on those as well. Cool. All right, we'll see you then. All right, thank you. So Albert and Ben just uh, completed a conversation practice. They both did great. Uh, they both went for the listing consultation. Uh, we identified them as two homeowners and they both um, set a listing appointment. Uh, both of them were business owners and commercial clients and so one thing I, I really uh, want to see more of and we need to do better as a group is really digging deeper to, into their commercial real estate needs. And I will tell you that you know the first gentleman who um, had multiple shops and locations, one of my first questions would be, does he own the real estate that he's operating his businesses out of or is he leasing? Because one thing that all business owners are very uh, interested in is owning the real estate rather than leasing it. I know me personally, I've been leasing uh, retail commercial space for the past decade and one of my biggest goals right now is to buy our own building. And so typically it's similar for most other business owners. They're tired of renting, it's the same thing of, you know, uh, renting your residential real estate, we want to own, we don't want to rent. And so by digging deeper there, you usually can not only find a lot of conversation points, but a lot of interest from any business owner uh, that is currently leasing their space. So that's one thing I would have loved to hear a little bit more from both conversations was finding out what their commercial real estate needs were. Because I'll tell you right now, anybody that owns their own business uh, is interested in owning more real estate, commercial real estate. And those are big ticket deals as well for an office. I mean, they go from being hundreds of thousands of dollars to millions of dollars. And so uh, both Ben and Albert did a fantastic job, uh, but it's one thing that we've got to do. And also you watching this video at home, don't be afraid to go into the commercial aspects of that conversation. Don't be afraid to pursue commercial business because that's where uh, not only can you add a ton of value to people uh, and create a ton of amazing relationships with other business owners and other entrepreneurs, uh, but you can also uh, pursue some very large transactions and get some very large commissions from it as well. Uh, so it's good seeing you guys today. We'll see you on the next one. Take care.